The 2022 first ordinary session of the ECOWAS Parliament began with a call by the Speaker, Sidi Mohammed Tunis, for observation of a minute silence on behalf of the massacred worshippers in Owo Catholic Church, Ondo State, Nigeria. Could you kindly join me in observing a moment of silence in memory of our compatriots that lost their lives to these sad occurrences? Addressing the Parliament, the Speaker identified terrorism kidnapping and banditry, especially in Nigeria, Mali, among other security challenges that have become a source of concern to the SOP region. He, however, questioned what ECOWAS is doing to address the challenges militating against the well-being of the SOP region, which called for urgent attention from all quarter. In Burkina Faso, Mali and the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the situation has worsened. We condemn the recent attack on the Kaduna International Airport and the Abuja Kaduna train that led to the loss of innocent lives and injuring too many others. The gruesome attack at St. Francis Catholic Church in Ondo State that led to the killing of many and many others unfortunate deaths across the region. We wish to extend our most sincere condolences to the President and the good people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, especially the Executive Governor of Ondo State, for the recent killing in cold blood of worshippers at St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, Ondo State. We equally express our condolences to families of our member states whose loved ones have fallen victim to terrorist activities and banditry. Calling on the parliament to expedite action in the review of its protocols in order to meet the global challenge, the speaker said effort is in the offing to commence consultation with countries that have elections in 2023 in order to ensure a hitch-free, fair and credible elections. Next year will be a very pivotal for democracy across the region with elections scheduled to hold in three member states, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Liberia and Sierra Leone. Our role is in ensuring that the democratic processes are conducted in a way that guarantees the best possible outcomes cannot be overemphasized. The President, ECOWAS Commission, Jean Claudie Kasibrao, who was represented by the Vice President, Finda Koroma, called for continued engagement with military junters in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Guinea in order to bring the affected countries back to democracy. We therefore welcome the Accra Initiative as well as all other efforts that are being used by our member states to fight this menace. The president of the ECOWAS Court of Justice, Edward Asante, represented by the vice president, Beribi Otara, expressed dismay over the constant rejection of the judgment of the court by member states which led to stigmatization by Western courts that are not willing to consult the community court for imputes. Speaker Nigeria's Federal House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, who was making his first appearance at the Equus Parliament in his over two decades of legislative journey, called for unity of purpose among member states to achieve the desired result. It is this parliament, as far as the subregion is concerned, that can produce uh, or develop the panacea, at least the uh, legislative framework, one way or the other, to deal with these problems. The 2022 first ordinary session of the ECOWAS Parliament also saw the swearing in of two new parliamentarians from Gambian, Bile Tunkara and Alhage Dabo. See and Ennis.